This week on Maker Update, a shot pouring elephant, Arduino and ARM, 3D printed linear motion, two short cat, and vice grip pliers. It's Wednesday, I'm Donald Bell, and welcome to another Maker Update. I hope you're all doing well. I hope your Halloween plans have taken shape the way you'd hope they would. Mine are not amazing, but it's at least an improvement over last year, and I'm happy about that. I've got a great mix of news and projects and tips to share with you this week, so let's get into it, starting with the project of the week. Check out this shot bot by the Robot Geek Team. The project uses a peristaltic pump and an Arduino to dispense shots of liquor or whatever you want. It's triggered by putting a glass on top of the base, which has a light sensor embedded into it. Once triggered, the Arduino tells the pump to dispense a specific amount of liquid. Oh, and did I mention that there's a cute 3D printed elephant that holds the whole thing together? This project is called the Drunky Dumbo, and you can find the parts and the code and the 3D print files over on Instructables. Time for a bit of news. The big news comes from Arduino, who have announced a partnership with the chip manufacturer Arm. The official announcement from Arduino explains that the partnership allowed Arduino to regain control of their company after their legal battles last year, while also keeping it independent. A post on Hackaday titled Who Owns Arduino proposes that Arm likely paid the legal bill for Arduino, but probably not out of charity. Arduino says they're free and independent, but it's hard to believe that Arm's money doesn't account for some stake in how business is done. I have a few other projects to share with you. Jonatron from Instructables has this cool 3D printed linear motion machine. This is a modern twist on a classic mechanism he pulled from an 1860s reference book. It translates rotational motion, driven here by the drill, into a side-to-side -side linear motion. To make it something a little flashier than a mechanical demo, John worked in a reel of receipt paper and a pen holder. The result is the sine wave printer you never knew you wanted, but man, I am a sucker for any kind of draw bot. Like so many of John's projects, this one does an awesome job of showing how each part was designed in Fusion 360. It's great when a project includes the 3D print files, but it's another thing completely when a maker goes step by step on how to recreate them from scratch. Well done, John. For something far less brilliant, this past weekend I published my own guide on hacking this dancing toy cat to have a built-in playlist of songs. For the sake of shock value, I loaded mine up with songs by Oakland rapper Too Short. Something about the cute cat and his oddly nasty dance and the over-the-top explicit content of most Too Short songs makes for a perfect combo, in my opinion. It's not appropriate for kids, though, and of course, you can load it with whatever music you want. It's time for another cool tool review. This time, let's take a look at vice grip pliers. This is a smaller pair of long nose vice grip pliers I got on Amazon for $13. If you want these exact same ones, you can use the Amazon link in the description which helps support my videos and the Cool Tools blog. These are a handy pair of pliers that can be generally used as needle nose pliers. They're four inches long with one and a half inch jaws and a wire cutter tucked in the back. But unlike regular pliers where you have to keep a constant tension with your hand to grip whatever you're using it on, the vice grip style pliers can lock on and stay put. It takes some fiddling with the adjustment screw to get the jaws the right size for the thing you're working with, not too loose and not too tight, but when you get it right, the pliers almost act as a semi-permanent extension of what they're gripping. And if you really want a super tight squeeze, you can use the little hex socket in the adjustment screw to really lock things in. I found these to be really useful for clamping metal together. They're great as clamps for gluing up small things. They can also be handy as a little third hand tool for tinning up wire or holding small things on your workbench. If you're worried about them being conductive, you can wrap the jaws in gaffer tape or heat shrink. So that's my take on using small, long nose vice grip pliers. I'll also link to Jamie Wyndham's review on the Cool Tools blog. And remember, you can see thousands of reader recommended tools like this at cool-tools.org. Speaking of helping hands, I got an email last week from a local Bay Area maker named Jotham McMillan who makes these beautiful CNC milled bases for holding projects in place and keeping parts sorted. His brand is Raptor Lock, and he's selling direct and on Amazon. Becky Stern has a new guide on Instructables highlighting the three most common beginner mistakes with Arduino. But really, these are a good reminder for all of us. And in the wake of the small, cheap Gemma project board being updated to the Gemma M0, 
Adafruit has quietly updated their older Gemma projects to include code in both Arduino and in the new CircuitPython code supported by the M0. I'm a complete convert to CircuitPython now if I can help it. There are around 160 updated and streamlined Gemma projects to go back through, and I'm excited to give them a try. Maker Fairs. There are so many Maker Fairs this weekend, including Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Espoo, Finland, Charlotte, North Carolina, Rockland, California, Lafayette, Indiana, Asuncion, Paraguay, Aarhus, Denmark, Georgetown, Pulau, Penang, Malaysia, Denver, Colorado, and Aachen, Germany. If one of those is near you, go out and get inspired. Also, East Bay Maker Fair is happening in Oakland, California on October 22nd. I'll be there giving a talk. Be sure to check it out if you're nearby. And that's it for this week's show. Be sure to subscribe, give this video a like, leave me a comment, and check out the show notes for links to everything I've talked about here, plus a link to the Maker Update email list, which goes out every Wednesday. All right? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.